When thinking of legendary female fighting game characters, it's hard to think of anyone more iconic than Chun-Li. Sophie Tia, Nina Williams, Sonya Blade and so many more all deserve props for being kick-ass dominant women in fighting games but only one character can be called a pioneer and that's Chun-Li. The first lady of fighting games first burst on the scene in Street Fighter 2, perhaps the most important fighting game in history, kicking the roster into submission with her lethal kicks and charming personality. Chun-Li was the first of many female fighters in Street Fighter but one of the things that separated her from the rest of the cast was how classy her design was always kept. Chun-Li always looked like she was here to fight. Video game companies with a target audience of adolescent men often create females with their bits hanging out, wearing as little as humanly possible and obviously to each their own. I mean, this happens in almost all media in some form or fashion, but Capcom at least deserves credit for never really doing that to Chun-Li. She's a difficult character to objectify. Wearing the now classic blue Chinese dress and iconic hair buns, Chun-Li's design can be noticed almost anywhere. A testament to Capcom's excellent character design in Street Fighter 2. Not only did Chun-Li look unique, she played unique. Chun-Li was the only character of the original 8 who could jump off the wall. She had two different win poses, one for round 1 and one for round 2 where she laughs at you after the battle was won. She was faster than the rest of the cast, but you could feel the efforts made to distinguish her to the rest of the cast. Female characters before this point were kind of seen as the damsel in distress. The plot point for the big strong main character to come and rescue, but Chun-Li was the total opposite. Not only was she not in the background waiting to be rescued, she was playable, front and center with everyone else. A first for fighting games and super rare for gaming altogether. Her appearance in the game to me mirrored the appearance of some of the badass women in Kung Fu. Women like Michelle Yeoh, who like Chun-Li was never the main character, but stole every scene she was in because of her elegant fighting style and her ability to kick ass just as hard as the main characters. Chun-Li's story and reasons for fighting were legit. We learn in Street Fighter 2 that Chun-Li is a cop seeking revenge for the murder of her father. The killer so happens to be the final boss of the game, M. Bison. It's like Chun-Li is supposed to be the main character of Street Fighter 2, not this guy. Yeah, keep walking, Ryu. Every time Chun-Li and Bison meet, we are reminded of their past and the fact that the only reason she's here is to rid the world of him and avenge her father. That's martial art movie vibes right there. Leaps and bounds over the basic stories of some of the other females in the game, it's no wonder a strong character who fights for justice like Chun-Li is seen as a badass role model for players all around the world. One of the game's designers mentioned at one point wanting to make Chun-Li's life bar shorter because quote, Women aren't as strong as men. I'm glad this never actually happened because one of the appeals for Chun-Li was not only was she the sole female in a man's world, she was going head to head, toe to toe, on equal footing as her male counterparts in the game. A message of equality in video games way before people were even calling for such a thing. Hit points for characters in Street Fighter were later adjusted for balancing reasons, but ultimately Chun-Li was never seen as physically weaker than anyone in the game. And in Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, she was seen as one of, if not the strongest characters in the game, period. Chun-Li's impact and popularity transcends even video games. In many ways, it's hard to imagine a world where Chun-Li never existed, but she absolutely paved the way for female representation in all aspects of video games. Legend, icon, trailblazer, just some of the words I could use to describe in my mind the most influential female character in gaming, Chun-Li. Thank you for stopping by and watching this video, it really means a lot to me. I just wanted to make a video of one of my favourite characters in the Street Fighter universe. If you enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like and subbing for more videos on gaming and the FGC. Thank you for watching and I'll see you real soon.